All right, so we're gonna stretch and get ready for our cardio workout and our strength training workout. Just stretch it out, so make sure we're all loose. All right, go ahead and take some forward arm circles. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Make sure you're really working on that movement coming from your shoulders rather than from your elbows or your wrists or your biceps. You really wanna be about working in and out of that joint. All right, now switch, go to the backward arm circles. You should be really familiar with these. We're just gonna use them to get warmed up rather than as a workout. I don't think they're kind of a good hardy strength training activity. All right. Now, even if your arms hurt a little bit, go ahead and bring them right up to the top. Fold your hands in together and then fold them out. Now we're gonna just reach to the side. Feel that nice extension in that left side of your body. Make sure your head's not kind of getting scrunched up and forward. Keep it long and loose. Now over to the other side, the left side. Extension in the right side of your body. Don't move your hips, keep everything straight except for that side bend in your upper body. All right, now over to the right side one more time. Now bring it back over to the left side. Okay, go ahead and stretch them out forward. Shake it out a little bit. Bring them together behind you, your hands together behind you, and reach back, opening up that chest and giving the shoulders kind of a new mobility. Keep your neck straight, get your heart to the sky. All right, shake it out, shake it out. All right, now we're gonna do the hamstring reach stretch. So for this one, you wanna have your left leg a little bit, your right leg out in front, your heel touching the ground. Um, you want to have this leg straight or straight enough. Don't lock your knee because that's never a good sign. Um, and just reach down and touch your toes. Doesn't really matter, I guess, if you touch your toes or not. You can kind of have it here. You just want to be putting your weight in so that you're feeling the stretch on your hamstring right here. All right, now switch other side. Make sure you're still strong on that right leg, on that bent leg, even though you're leaning your weight onto that left. Okay, now we're gonna do a quad stretch. So go ahead and take your left leg, um, hold your foot, the top of your foot, and then put your knees so that they're together. If this isn't enough of a stretch for you, like if you have it, your heel touching your butt and you're still not really feeling much, um, I, my balance, <laughs> go ahead and take this into a dancer's pose. So you're gonna kick back against that hand and slowly lift up with your arm to balance. That's gonna give you a much better stretch. And breathe into it, focus, find a spot. Now gently put your foot back down. And do the other side. If this feels good, if this feels like enough of a stretch for you, go ahead and stay there. And just ignore what I'm about to say because this is a solid stretch. But yet again, if you're not really feeling a pull in your quad, which is this muscle right here, go ahead and lift up into that dancer's pose. Again, pushing the outside of that foot against your right hand. And go ahead and lean forward a little bit more if you can. All right, beautiful. 
gently place your foot back down. Sorry, my computer turned off. Okay. <laughs> All right, now just go ahead and do a forward fold. Breathe. We love it here. All right, now go ahead and take your feet out wide so that you can do a good squat without your knees coming in. You always wanna be pushing your knees out when you're doing a squat. Uh, these are called bottom up squats. So you're gonna lean down with straight legs or a soft bend in the knees, touch your toes, go down into the squat, lift your arms up, stand up. I'll give you another angle of that. So feet wide, soft bend in the knees, lean down, touch your toes, squat down. It's not gonna be very deep, arms up, and up. That's a bottoms up squat. We're going to do five of those. You ready? One. Two. When you're coming up on that squat, you want to make sure you have all your weight. Do not use your momentum from going down on your coming up. So you want to pause for a second and make sure you have all your arm weight on your legs. Beautiful. All right, we've got one more. Nice. Okay, now we're going to do some hurdle steps. So that's, you're just going to take this leg, go forward, just like you're going over a little wall that's right there. So just want to Open up your hip. You can just touch behind you, come back up, touch in front of you. Do two more on the right leg. All right, left leg. So we get that extension and go as high as you can. If you need that balance, Go ahead and use that runner's arm position like we do on the lunges. We got one more. Computer. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do our split squats. Great time to use that arm position again. So we'll start with right leg in front. Get yourself into that position so that your knee's coming down right below your hips. We're going to count on each leg. So this is three. Ooh. Really articulate this movement so that you're using your right glute to come back up. I think that was time. Okay. Now, we're gonna have left leg in front, right leg behind. Really make sure that knee is coming down right below the hip. You don't wanna to be too close or too far back doing kind of like more of a high lunge. It's okay if your knee doesn't touch the ground. That one's really up to you. Okay, great. All right, now we're gonna do our, sorry, 10 alternating lateral lunges. So you know these, no squat in the middle, okay? Go down as deep as you can. We're doing 10 per side, so this is three. Get a little tiring. This is seven, so don't wear a raw stuff. Go ahead and let those arms go. If you're tired, holding them right there. 
This is about putting all your weight onto the leg that's bending and simultaneously stretching the straight leg. All right, our last one. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna do uh, five plank walkouts. Super fun. So let me take off my socks for that one. Kind of like a little mini sun salutation. So arms up, reach down, you know how to do this. Keep all your weight on your hands as you go. That's one. We got four more. Really articulate this movement so that your arms and your core are doing all the work. And your legs are just resting and long for the ride. We got two more. If you want to pause the video, feel free to hang out in that plank for a little bit longer. Get a little bit extra workout. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we are our last little section of our warm up. So we're going to go ahead and do two 30 second hip lifts, stretch out with a figure four. So you know these elbows into the ground, keep your hands in a fist, whatever. Relax your head, you just lift up. And we're just going to hold it here. We're not going to do any kind of lower. seconds left. All right, relax. We're going to do this one more time, so get ready to lift in three, two, one, up. Squeeze that booty, lift to keep this whole torso straight. You can go ahead and use your arms pushing me to the ground to help you out. It should be hurting, it's hurting me. We got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, relax for a second. Take your left leg, put your ankle on your knee, and pull in, grabbing hold of your thigh. You can go ahead and relax your head, do whatever you want. It's all about getting that glute stretch in your left leg. Switch, right ankle on right on left knee, we pull in. This side might be different than the other side. Sometimes some hips and some glutes are just a little bit more malleable than the other side. All right, release. Shake it out and prepare yourself to get right into our workout.